process of having to move all of the floorboards and destroying all of the sofa that was all over there. There was some 240 volt cable that ran all the way down to the floor over there and then all the way along the back here, all the way down to here to a random single socket, then all the way underneath here to another two sockets here, up the wall and then back down to go to the back of the back. Um, so for us to do what we're doing, do what we're trying to do, and also to put the sockets in a more useful place, um, I'm just temporarily rewiring all of the 240 volts um, and taking things apart to make it all fit. <clears throat> and also trying to not have hot, this is hot water. From the back boiler. From the back boiler, so when the stove's going, so we need to protect the cable from being um, heated and exposed to that. So I'm wiring it into some uh, protective piping. And then uh, also refitting the uh, water, water pump. pump that was leaking. Um, I'm kind of copying what came out uh, of it, but <laughs> the uh, the blue goes to the blue, the brown goes to the bad, the green and yellow, that's the earth, so that's always really important. Um, I can never remember which way around it is. I think brown is live, blue is neutral. <laughs> that's good to know. Yep, I'm sure it's that way around. There's oh, a thing to remember, and I always then forget the thing to remember. Uh, but then they all go into the back of these. This is your three pin double socket thing and they all go in together so blue to blue will go into into the neutral the brown to brown will go into the live and the earth will go into one of the earths and then that continues the circuit across the uh, across the sockets and then down the cable and all of these sockets are in series so as long as the as long as they're secure safe not exposed cables um, and as long as they are connected, we can then turn the two volts back on. Great! I still don't understand how to wire a plug. <laughs> Electric let's, ha let's hope I do! <laughs> <laughs> Ash is just digging up the old insulation from underneath the floorboards where all the ballast is. Um, and it's not the best by any means insulation, which is really bad. Loads of nuts. But what we found um, is some nice mice nests. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is wet under here. Wet underneath there. Yeah. The main reason for not using this sort of fiberglass insulation is for this very reason, once it gets wet, it soaks and sponges. Well, this isn't too bad, but the stuff from the back of the boat was mouldy ours. But yeah, you can see, I yep. think that might be from water pump leaks. Water pump well. leaks, uh, but but this insulation is bad for this, uh, this job underneath the boat. It might be all right for the walls, especially at the top above the gunnels, but this is bad because if yeah. it stays and gets soaked, it won't okay. drain, it won't dry and then it rusts the bottom of the boat oh, but nuts. it looks like there's been mice that have squirreled away a load of nuts <laughs> and there was a whole pile of lentils as well that was rather impressive this insulation stuff is grim look it's just i have my arms covered but it's still brought out and might have found rash ouch just dug and chiseled and chiseled and chiseled there's um, roof felt that was laid like at the bottom of here and because it got wet it just broke apart and basically like stuck to the, the paint and the metal. Um, so yeah I've just chiseled loads of that up um, but now we've got to leave it to dry, sort out the water pump, leaky water pump and uh, get de-rusting. We've had a hard day at work today. Hard day work. We've been ripping up the floor. <laughs> Have you forgotten already? So um, we're currently sat where the old dinette used to be. We destroyed it. And then all of these bricks we ripped out. We're all the under the floor. floor. <laughs> Big day today. Um, Gaz also did some wiring. Rewired some stuff. The water pump. The water pump leaked. leaked. And we de-rusted all of the patches. 
glitchy, rusty thing from the leak. And I also stopped the leak. So I piped and rewired today. I don't think we got a video of that actually or a picture, but... That's because swearing was involved. Mm -hmm. Gaz is a genius. I like to do the tasks that are real simple, like moving bricks. Um, but yeah, we had really nice showers because Aqueduct Marina has good showers and they were much needed, just running brown stuff. Um, and that's it. Food time. Stir fry. So we're finishing yesterday's work. Um, Gaz is going to be, what are you going to be doing? I'm getting the angle grinder on a, like a sanding disc and de-rusting the bottom of the boat. If you we, look down here, it's really rusty. Although we really cleaned it up well yesterday. So we're going to have another blast de-rusting and then we're going to paint it. Well, we're painting it with ash. With vac tan. Uh, with vac tan. Uh, safety warning. Me and Gaz don't use the goggles for when we oh, do that. Yeah. Angle grind grinding. I can't talk this goggles. morning. I'm not awake yet. Um, but that, you should wear goggles <laughs> if you're watching this and I've never used an angle grinder before. Do not. I'm gonna get goggles. Coffee. Okay. I've got a cool yeah. mask though. Yeah, that that mask is great. Where is it from? Amazon. It's so good. It's like 18 quid, and I normally am like sneezing and everything with all the dust, and that just fixed it yesterday, didn't it? Magic. So yeah, finish that off. Get stuff going to the tip. Uh, what else are we doing? Going to buy some plywood and have an afternoon off. Just vac tanned the inside of the hull, uh, the front of the boat. Split, split, split. We just kept sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. Uh, so all the footage is just mostly sweeping. But the vac tan is on. Woohoo! Vac tan is like witchcraft in a bottle. Just rust eats the rust, and, and I was like also kind of primer. preserves the metal and primes the metal for paints. Yep. Amazing stuff. Brilliant. So we're running away to let this dry for 24 hours. Whee! Let's see what happens in a day. <laughs>